Today I will be checking Chante Half Genie Hero, so stay tuned. Chante Half Genie Hero it's the fourth installment of the Chante series, developed by Y4 Technologies. So let's quickly do a recap of the previous games. The first game only called Shante was released back in 2002 and originally for the Game Boy Color. Already when the Game uh, Boy Advance was out, so never got too much attention. The second game was called Shante Risks Re Risky's Revenge, was released back in 2010, originally on the Nintendo DS. The third game was released in 2014 and released to, on the 3DS originally. So, now back Shante Half Genie Hero. The last game of the series was released back in 2016 and at this point exists in almost, almost every platform available. So, you have it in Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, PlayStation Vita, Wii U, Xbox One and lately on the Nintendo Switch. I own the PS4 and the PS Vita versions. Something interesting about this game is that it was founded via Kickstarter, where it was able to get $900,000. Quite an achievement, I would say. Like in previous games of the series, you play as, a sh as Shante, a half-genie who can wipe enemies with her hair. Through the game, you will unlock dances that will allow you to transform into a new form and will allow you to gain access to otherwise inaccessible areas. These transformations can later be upgraded with new abilities. Due to this fact, the game has a high value for replayability, since with this new transformation in abilities you gain access to, to new areas in already played levels. The game is a huge step forward when compared with the Pirate's Curse, the previous game. This game was uh, developed in high definition, uh, the characters are in 2D and the environments are in 3D. The game looks gorgeous and it plays handsomely. The game was also very well received by the critics, with a 81 out of 100 aggregated review score on Metacritic. IGN, for instance, rated 8 out of 10. Mine claim that Half Genie Hero is still a Metrovania type of game, but I would say that, that this one is a bit more linear when compared with Pirate's Curse. Also, there were many complaints about the game, because this game is more like a soft reboot ra rather than following the events after the Pirate's Curse. Honestly, it doesn't bother me, I really enjoy the game, it's fun, cute, and every 2D platform lover should play this game. You will not be disappointed, I truly recommend you this game. As a last tip, I should say that sometimes the level of difficulty increases dramatically, but after a couple of trials you should be fairly, it should be fairly easy to pass the obstacles. And about you guys, what is your opinion? Are you willing to give this game a chance? Please let me know down below in the comment section. Until next time! If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and like.